Hello there, it's Hale with the Armageddon Report. So we've got Tropical Storm Hector out in the Eastern Pacific. That one, however, has no land hazards associated with it. And then we've got a new one out in the Northwest Pacific, Tropical Depression 14. If this one reaches um, Tropical Storm status, I do believe, on the JMA scale, which is a little bit, it has to get a little bit stronger than, for instance, uh, the scale that the National Hurricane Center uses for it to be called a Tropical Storm. Anyway, then it would procure the name Kaitak. Procure is probably not the name. However, Pegasa is calling this one Helen already because they maintain their own separate list of storm names. So their path is showing it booking to Taiwan. However, the JTWC path currently showing it potentially having much worse effects for the Philippines and then passing to the south of Taiwan. Now, that, of course, does not mean that Taiwan, if in this scenario, wouldn't be impacted as well just because the storm is moving, the eye of the storm, you know, is moving south of the Taiwan. So obviously that's something to keep an eye on. I am going to see today if I can start passing information from Pagasa. No promises on that one though, but they do have like land hazards for the area down here. So that would be good information to have. Right, but obviously if you're in the Philippines, you should be going there directly to the Pagasa site. So, National Weather Service US-based hazards. We've got excessive heat warnings again. We've got, this would be a heat advisory, I do believe, where it's not up to the level of excess, excessive heat warnings, but it's still flipping hot. These are red flag warnings, so that's where if fires were to get spread, it would be quite favorable for them to if fires were to get set, it would be favorable for them to get spread quite quickly. I think I exchanged some words there. Here is the severe thunderstorm outlook for today. Obviously, this line completely out of date at this point. So, 15% chance of winds and hail, and then a 2% chance of a tornado. So, here's your slight risk area. So, basically, for the hail stuff, we lose the 5% that were there on the wind map. So, winds would be 58 miles per hour greater. Hail would be one inch larger. Tornadoes would be a tornado at all. So what would this mean? The 2%, this means that if you pick this random point in Missouri, that means there's a 2% chance that this random point in Missouri or somebody within a 25 mile radius of them will see a tornado today. So obviously the bigger threats today, wind and hail. Tomorrow moves eastward and Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi being the core of those threats and high as a 15%. So, and then we've got 5% back here in this area. This area seems to be quite a hot spot called Radley and Wyoming, Nebraska. How about that? Day after tomorrow, n well, nothing going on on that map. So we move on over to here where it, you know, a whole bunch of states affected by at least a 5%. So then that could be upgraded by the time that day three, what is day three? Can't do math off the top of my head. August 14th, that could be, it could be a slight risk by the time August 14th is here. And in the medium range, days four through eight, predictability too low, so there'd be, in fact, they've got discussions, right, day four, day five. But so there is some sort of severe thunderstorm weather expected in days four through eight, but right now timing and the location is not yet certain enough. SevereWeatherTV.com is the official homepage of the screencast. How about that? Whenever it happens to get updated, of course. Wicked Wix is W I C K E D W X dot com. You can also get your severe thunderstorm weather news from weather.gov and Storm Prediction Center. And Cyclocane is C Y C L O C A N E dot com. That brings together data from the National Hurricane Center, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, Japan Meteorological Agency, and hopefully soon. The Philippine Atmospheric G I forget what Pegasus stands for, but hopefully soon we'll have some data from there. Oh, and this apparently, yes, see the outlook will be updated shortly. So there's a little bit of a sinkage problem. Anyway, yellow would mean that it's less than 30%. But so that's something to keep an eye on the Eastern Pacific. But right now, Cyclo okay and saying none. But it'll it will update in about 10 minutes. Because officially the storm, the Fresh outlooks for the NHC stuff comes out at, what is it, 2 p.m. Eastern. Yes, 1 p.m. Central. Anyway, that's it for today. Hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend.